uh, narrated Ubada, Ben Asimet, who took part in the Battle of Badaran, and was a Nike, you know, API a person heading a group of six persons on the night of Al Akeba pledge. Allah's apostle said, while a group of his companions were around him, swear allegiance to me for one. Not to join anything in worship along with Allah. Two, not to uh, steal. Three, not to commit illegal sexual intercourse. Four, not to kill your children. Five, not to accuse an innocent person. Um, spread such an accusation among people. Six, not to be disobedient or ordered to do good deed. The, the prophet added, whoever among you fulfills his pledge will be rewarded by Allah. And whoever indulges in any one of them except the ascription of partners to Allah and gets the punishment in this world, that punishment will be an expiation for that sin. And if one indulges in any of them and Allah conceals his sin, it is up to him to forgive or punish him the hereafter. Al-Badain Asimit added, so we swore allegiance for these uh, points to Allah's apostle, narrated Anus, the prophet said, love for the Ansar is a sign of faith and hatred for the Ansar is a sign of hypocrisy. Um, narrated a beast at Al-Qudri. Allah's apostle said, a time will come that the best property of a Muslim will be sheep, which he will take on the top of mountains and the places of rainfall valleys, so as to flee with his religion from afflictions. Narrated Anas, the prophet said, whoever possesses the following, three qualities will taste the sweetness of faith. One, the one to whom Allah and his apostle become dearer than anything else. Two, who loves a person, he loves him only for Allah's sake. Three, who hates to revert to disbelief, atheist of, after Allah has brought him out from it, as he hates to be thrown in fire, narrated Aisha. Um, whenever Allah's apostle ordered the Muslims to do something, it, he used to order them deeds which were easy for them to do. According to their strength and endurance, they said, oh, Allah's apostle, we are not like you. Allah has forgiven your past and future sins. So Allah's apostle became angry, and it was apparent on his face. He said, I am the most Allah-fearing, and know Allah better than all of you. 